Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here, and oh uh, my word, can you tell it is spring? You know it's happening when there's finally sun shining through my window, just as I'm about to record. Anyway, hi everyone, welcome to this video. It is of course another Crystal Creations video, because I just want to play this new stuff pack, what can I say? I'll eventually just like weave it into my usual gameplay, but I want to do a rags to riches. I want to see how much money we can earn in like a sims week off the brand new gemology skill. This is rags to rubies. We do have of course Melton over here. I did give him the brand new aspiration. He's not got his grilled cheese aspiration this time around but I am thinking if we get enough to get a fridge and then we can make some grilled cheese and eat it three times in a row and he does get it then obviously having jet will just mean that we can summon the grim reaper and that's gonna be really really good for the grilled cheese aspiration. You no longer have to kill sims for your grilled cheese. Which I mean feels like it takes the fun out of it, but we'll see how this goes. When I've seen most people play this pack, like even on the sims live stream that they did, they chose to live in Oasis Springs, which I get because they obviously, this is like base game and then crystal creations. Like usually when they stream, they focus on like the actual pack to see what comes with it. But we are actually gonna do fall and we are gonna head to Sulani. Apparently you can sometimes find crystals if there is a volcanic eruption and you get those big like volcanic rocks on your property and honestly I think Sulani is hands down one of the best places to live if you are a collector. Like there are so many different collections here. We are gonna choose to live on just this island. It's just us, me, myself and I and we're kind of close to the volcano which I feel is good because I feel like there are maybe some crystals that spawn around the volcano as well. Hopefully. Fingers crossed at least. We're gonna get rid of that 13,000 simoleons. Thank you very much. Who do you think you are? Taylor feckin' Swift? No, we're gonna do money and we are gonna set that to zero. You know what? Sulani is a little bit OP for like rags to riches style anyway because there is actually like public bathrooms literally all over. And then we can shower in the rain. Damn. I am now thinking though, do crystals even spawn here? <gasps> There's a metal. Okay, this is good. Oh, there's a fossil up here. Unnecessary, but we, oh, geez. <laughs> that made me feel like I needed to cough. We got Romantium. Oh, and we got started on our gemology skill. I've just noticed my face count. There we go. It's real gamer hours now. No sunshine in my room. Now I see why people have been choosing Oasis Springs. I really do feel like that is the best world for crystals specifically. Great, it was a broken fossil. Oh, but we did get that one for 70 simoleons. We'll also sell that upgrade part considering we absolutely do not need that. So we have 85 simoleons. The table is actually 650. So we need to try and save up for that. Maybe we should just quickly go to Oasis Springs, just to the park. Why are fossils literally the most prominent one when you do not want fossils? I wanted to do this on screen because I didn't want you thinking that I had just cheated my money. Let's go multi-select. We will sell the fossils because they are unnecessary. And we'll also sell it the treasure maps, boom, and sell for 695 simoleons. Thank you, I will take it. That means that we can definitely get ourselves the gemology table. I love how I was like, oh, I don't wanna make this too easy on myself, but we can turn our property into a tiny home, right? <laughs> Which is definitely gonna help with our skill game. We need at least four placed tiles. Whoa, no, that's too much money. Tiny home, you are not worth that. And then uh, let's go design some jewelry. Gift jewelry or successfully propose with a ring. Well, we're not gonna be proposing anytime soon because he actually hates all flirtation. And the good thing about this is if you have the metal available to you, it's just like zero. So we are only spending 40 simoleons to make this. Let's see, I mean, we aren't gonna earn any money back from this one, unfortunately though, considering we do have to gift it. Delicious! A fart on that jewelry and then gift it straight to someone. Now we could sell that for 161 simoleons which is a fairly good profit if you ask me but it is just a basic bracelet. There's literally no one around. <laughs> 
<laughs> it usually comes up with like a gift to you, but there's no one here. This volcano is looking spicy. It looks like it could give us a volcanic eruption at any moment. Oh no, Makoa, please. I would like to talk to you. I wish there was a piece of jewelry that made you super speedy. <laughs> gift to Makoa Kialoa. Aw, I feel like that piece of jewelry actually like suits him. I feel like he's gonna get a lot of use out of this bracelet. He's gonna hopefully just put it on. Boom. Oh, it looks good on you, dude. Oh my word, we can also shower hair as well. I told you, Sulani is next level for challenges like this. Oh, look at this little guy. I had a dream last night. I don't even know where we were meant to be. We were on holiday somewhere and my mum absolutely hates frogs. And this place where we were at had like a courtyard and someone had left the main door open. And so there was just an absolute bunch of frogs. And my mum does this thing. I can't admit that on the internet, actually. She would simply disown me. Let's just leave it at she hates frogs. So she was hysterical about it. The only bad thing about Sulani that I am now uh, realizing is there's just like no uh, normal benches. Like there's like a picnic bench, but you can't nap there. I really don't want to waste money on a bench. No, do not swim. That's one thing you do have to be careful of. If you are that tired, your sim absolutely cannot swim or RIP to them. You will be needing hematite. We could get ourselves a sleeping bag for 140 simoleons. Right, now we need to get serious. We need to get selling some stuff. We're gonna do a chunky bracelet with uranium, and the crystal is going to be angry, embarrassed, sad, and scared moodlets. Mm, we'll go for alabaster because I'm still a little bit scared that he's gonna botch something because his skill isn't the best just yet. He didn't botch it. So we're gonna plop that into our inventory. Should we try to sell it on Plopsy? That means we don't get the money straight away though. Whereas I could just cash it in now for 135 simoleons. Or we could try and sell it on the new selling table, but I think we're gonna go for the 135. Oh my word, I thought that one was gonna be botched. I decided to go for one of the most expensive ones that we could make for like free. It was 70 simoleons to make the delicate bracelet, but he kept kept pinching his finger and then he also got uncomfortable because we need to eat some food. So I was like, there's absolutely no way, but a cheeky 404 simoleons, I will absolutely take. Kyle, you do not want to be crashing at my place, buddy. All I have to my name is a jewelry making station and a sleeping bag. You can trust me, you do not want to be here right now. This feels silly. This feels like a waste of money. I am going to move it away from my other things though because I do not want it to set a fire to everything. I want to make the tree so that we can start harvesting our own crystals. Why is there never anyone to talk to? Makoa is my only friend. I wonder if he still has his bracelet on. We're gonna discuss crystal properties with him. Uh, excuse me, where is your bracelet? I made that for you. I know it wasn't a friendship bracelet, but still. Well, uh, that went awfully. Now we're feeling embarrassed. Great. Melton, whenever I do a challenge with the sim, I always forget that I've like made him one of the most difficult sims, apparently. He just has awful compatibility with so many people. And I think it's because like he hates small talk. We need to make ourselves a bit of jewelry. That means that our social doesn't go down so fast. I mean, we are on a deserted island. It makes sense that there's barely anyone around and people don't really want to talk to him. That's not bad. Like what? Three days into this challenge, we reached, what level are we on? Level three to get the seed. And hopefully this is going to grow, but it's not going to grow super fast. Mmm, Melton, loving all of these yeah, stinky hot dog plates that we have all over. You know what? It's really good that so many of the items in this pack are so slottable. Like, I was honestly surprised by it, but geez, I'm not loving the amount of dirty plates that can just be left around a Sims home. We're gonna try and make Luna goddess earrings. I feel like this is wild. We're gonna do gold and we are going to use... 
Uh, see, if we use this, then we probably get more money for it. So uh, let's see how this goes. This is risky business. Oh no, we're feeling uncomfortable because of the dirty plates. Can I move them like out of your vicinity or is it just because like they are around and I don't have a bin? Oh no, moving them actually works. Yeah, you can't, you can't tell that they smell from all the way over there. They're not infecting your nostrils in your workspace. I'm now thinking, now that we have 263 simoleons, whoo, they had a little glow to them. We could try and sell these one on Plopsy, but 366 simoleons straight away? Maybe we do that and then the next thing we actually sell on Plopsy. I wanna have at least a little, like, in my back pocket to spare. We are gonna get ourselves the charger though, considering we don't have that yet. It doesn't really add anything to it price-wise, but I feel like people would enjoy buying charged things. It's also only 50 simoleons, so easy. I feel like I should sell the frogs now. Uh, this isn't a rags to riches about frogs. It was just so that we could get our feet off the ground and I was using the world around me for it. So no more frog breeding here on out. We're just gonna make money using jewelry and obviously like fossils that we still dig up because they're worthless to me and I may as well sell them. That's one good thing about this rags to riches challenge. Like if you're doing it through really like this pack, you are gonna find those things whilst you are digging for stuff that you don't actually need. So you can just also sell them off. Let's go big or go home. Eye earrings, we are gonna do uh, sadnum and we are gonna go uh, quartz. Why did he pause? It's because he needed to toot. This is the one time that I've been thankful that he's lactose intolerant and not actually gluten-free because he's eating so many hot dogs. These two are already up on Plopsy. I only had metals left. So I went ahead and made some basic earrings and also a basic necklace with what I had. And then we're also gonna list that one on Plopsy and hope that it's actually worth more than whatever it was worth, which I can't remember. I wish I told you like the original value so you could see if the offer was like good. Look, aren't you proud of me? I haven't even sold my earbuds. Oh, he has like bed bugs. Oh no, imagine all the creepy crawlies that would be like in the, the sand. I cannot think about that too much. Melton, why are we doing this to ourselves? Let's change it up a little bit. Let's not go uh, for a hot dog today. Let's make your farts even more insufferable and go for frankenbeans. He loves putting his food on this bottom shelf. He's like, I'm gonna squat before every time I eat. Oh my word, I just got a phone call that I haven't seen in The Sims 4 in absolute ages. It was from Dominique. She was like, hey neighbor, we just moved in down the road. We hope you'll visit sometime soon. I haven't had like a neighbor or anyone reach out in the longest time. That was wild. I still miss it when they used to invite you to like parties or like holidays. Holidays. I wish they still did that. <gasps> They took it away for a dig pile. Love how the one time where actually a volcanic eruption would be really, really helpful is the one time that I've not seen one the entire time I've been playing. Ooh, Starlight Shores Sweetie would like to purchase your basic earrings on Plopsy. If you agree to the sale, then find the basic earrings in the inventory and ship them off to send them to their forever home. Sorry, I will absolutely be selling that minnow. Wow, for a grand six simoleons. 955 simoleons. I can assure you they were like 40 simoleons to make because it was basic. That is wild. The profit margin. We got over 900 simoleons and we are a level five in the gemology is a legend. We are absolutely gonna accept that. We are gonna ship up those bad boys. I've been seeing a load of TikToks recently about different packaging that people use to ship on Vinted. I saw a guy the other day who literally got something that was in like a salt and vinegar crisp packet. <laughs> Which I mean, it is recycling, it is saving the environment. I wonder what he would actually post his in. I wanna say like cheese packets, but that's a big block or like a big bag of shredded cheese. We are not done. We have a cheeky 1,500 simoleons in our back pocket. Let's absolutely continue making some other things. Although we are feeling very uncomfortable. So this might not be the best idea. At a bling one. Ooh. 
Ooh, we also don't own a crystal, but I mean, come on. We have enough money that we can just like buy them out right now. So we're gonna go for a sapphire. 227 simoleons, not bad. Plopsy is absolutely the way to sell your jewelry, by the way. If you have nifty knitting, like it is mwah, exquisite. He botched it. Oh no, it just turned into this like green, like basic necklace. Oh, I can't believe he botched that one. That was the most expensive one so far. We lost a fair bit. Wait, did we? Or oh, I can never remember what they originally were. This is why I don't own my own jewelry business. Apparently I'm just terrible at maths. I cannot be held responsible for this. Oh my God. God, why does that sound like such shade? I just got your package. Thank you so much. This is gonna make the perfect door stop. Those are earrings. They're not holding any doors open. Not gonna lie to you all. I did just cheat my tree. I know a couple of you were saying maybe like tiny living would help with the way that they grow, but I just needed this desperately for the fact that we're barely getting any crystals, which you're obviously not gonna have that worry if you're living in like a base game world, basically. Base game worlds are the ones where most collections like spawn extremely frequently, which like I'm not mad about. I do wish that other worlds had more collectibles in them just cause I think it's like a missed opportunity to not have them. But obviously this kind of expands on base game like when it comes to crystals. So obviously like it's also gonna expand on like the amount of crystals that you can find in base game. And it's kind of like encouraging people to play in like Willow Creek or Oasis Springs. Why can you not harvest them? You're too uncomfortable to do that. You're having a bad time because I made you fish. I made you fish so that you could actually start fertilizing this when you needed to. <gasps> I didn't use the one that was available to convince them to give us money. Get over here, buddy. I need you to design eye ones just because it feels appropriate. They're gonna be like, I've got my eye on you. Maybe like gold, but that's like expensive, bro. Maybe we do a gold color so they think it's gold, but it's really not. Gran Destine, 237 simoleons. This is actually only available if you have a get to work because it is a 6M gem. So is it gifting that to someone and then they become easier or is it us wearing it and then it becomes easier for them to give us money? We got another Plopsy sale, 314 simoleons. So definitely not as good as the earrings, but I see see you AC Evan. Maybe it's also easier to convince them to buy things from a selling table if we give them that. So let's try it. We'll go at Crystal Creations. Uh, where is it at? I don't know how much it is. 450. Okay, not bad at all. Man's not hot. <laughs> Swimming in a puffer jacket. Disgusted. New ick unlocked right there. Gift to Oliana. Imagine if she like doesn't like them. This is gonna be so awkward. I don't even think we like can ask her for a loan or anything like I'm fairly sure we have to have a good charisma to do that and we absolutely do not have a good charisma I can assure you. Why is she walking away from me? No, come over here. W buy something. But Melton, you're looking a little bit needy now, bro. <laughs> You're talking to her a little bit too much. Give a sales pitch to Oliana. Watch it. She's gonna go for like the minnow, which is like six simoleons. <laughs> Hey, you're meant to be easier to convince. What is this? Why are you turning me down? She said, I got bills to pay. I would much rather pay and look after my family than purchase anything from your shitty stall, actually, sir. Oh, they're all swimming. They're gagging for it. Look at him. Making my way downtown to the street sale. Get my hands on a minnow. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, she's taking, why are they taking pictures of me? They're, look, they're like, look at this weird man that stood on the top of this hill, literally like by himself selling the weirdest arrangement of goods you could ever create. She's doing the sums. She's like, is this a good thing for me to buy? Why, why do we all have iPad Pros? By any chance, was this supposed to be edible? 
what is with these plopsy buyers? Is this how it feels to be on Vinted? This is the most dense Sulani has been in the like six days that we've been playing. Look, I made them Illuminati earrings so that none of you could say no to them. Right, dude, I know you have money. He didn't even hesitate. He was there for a, all of a second. Well, that was terrible. Atrocious. We're packing up and I'm going home. Dramatic walk up to the volcano that literally did not erupt once. I was counting on you. We were all rooting for you. Anyway, thank you all so, so much for tuning in. Honestly, I hope you have better luck swindling your sims than I did. I will say I do think this is an easy way to rinse your sims. I feel like they absolutely are willing to spend a lot of money on jewelry. I think it's almost up there alongside nectar making as like one of the most profitable things you could possibly do in The Sims 4. If you've tried a Rex to Rubies, if you've tried making as much money as possible from jewelry making, let me know how it went for you. Uh, thank you all so much for tuning in and I will speak to you all in my next one, which is actually going to be exploring cross pack compatibility. I hate this piece of hair. What is it doing? Between Crystal Creations and all the other packs that we currently have in The Sims 4. So I'll see you all there. Bye.